What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Wilson's Library. The library is now open. So today, my dad is going to be interviewing me about Sputnik's Guide to Life on Earth. Hey, Wilson. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, last week when we were talking, mm-hmm. um, we wanted to have you introduce yourself a little bit to the, to the channel as well. And I totally skipped right over that part. So... Can you take just a few seconds to tell us a little bit about you? What are some of your favorite things? How old you are? Things like that. Okay, so my name is Wilson Lonis. Lonis meaning son of Apollo, not Jake Paul's dog. The Greek god Apollo. And I'm 10 years old and I'm turning 11 on April 28th. And I enjoy reading, as you can see. Um, I like... Star Wars, Harry Potter, things like that, and video games for really like video games and um I like porgs. They just porgs are awesome. They're so cute and cuddly and just adorable and I just wanna squeeze them. What's a porg, Wilson? Um, there's those little bird creatures on the island of Luke Skywalker seen in Star Wars, The Last Jedi and Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Well, I think porgs are Fun to play with, fun to have around. Yeah, they're just so cute. So cute. All right, well, tell me a little bit about Sputnik's Guide to Life on Earth. So, Sputnik's Guide to Life on Earth is about this kid named Prez who um, is sent to this place called The Temporary because his granddad is a little crazy because he thinks he lives on a ship instead of in an apartment. And um, so The Temporary is this place where, like, they live in this like building year round, but in summers they go to different houses. And um, so he, this one year he goes to the place in this place called Stramudi, and he meets this family. The um, I think it was the like um, I think I'm not sure of the family last name, but he went to live with this family, and there was this dog slash human slash alien named Sputnik who came to to Prez he looks like a normal human being but to everyone else he looks like a dog and but to all of Prez's temporary family they all he all looks like a different dog to each of them that can cause some trouble sometimes yeah definitely so basically earth is about to be shrunken and so Sputnik came with to Prez so they could come up with 10 wonders of the world, no man-made things, nothing about space, because space is not Earth. And they have to come in by the end of the summer. Okay, and what do they have? why do they have to come up with these? Because if they don't come up with things why Earth should exist, it just will get shrunk. Who's gonna sh- do the shrinking? Um, so have you ever, do you know what a white dwarf is? Uh, yes. It's a star planet that's being shrunken. So basically, that's what is going to happen to Earth. And the people doing that is this, is this, like, they're like the galaxy cops, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Do they have a name? Um, I don't believe so, actually. They're just the galaxy cops? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, aside from Prez and Sputnik, are there any other cool characters in the book that you, that you remember? Um, his granddad, like, but he only, like, appeared near the end, mostly, so he wasn't that in into the book. Um, and there was this one character named Jesse, who was Sputnik's, I mean, Prez's temporary sister. And, like, she really wanted a dog. And, yeah, but, so they lived on a farm, so it was kind of hard to, for them to, like, keep a dog as, like, a pet and things like that. Why, because dogs are usually working dogs on a farm? Yeah. Okay. Did you find the characters in uh, Sputnik's Guide to Life on Earth compelling? Um, Sputnik's was very funny. Like, he made a toy lightsaber real. Oh, wow. Like, it actually cut down a tree. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he also has a reversed pineapple hand grenade. It's very weird. Okay. What he about put the... to, He put back together Hadrian's Wall. All right, that's cool. Did that end up being one of the ten things? Um, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Did you find the plot compelling? 
Yeah, it was just like very like, are they gonna get all the ten items? How is Sputnik and Prez gonna stay together? It's so, like just. Mm. <laughs> it was exhilarating. I yeah. remember the first time you read this book because a lot of times you read the same book multiple times. But I remember the first time you read this book, and so many nights you were just unsure of whether or not um, Prez and Sputnik were gonna get the task done, yeah. and you're really excited about it. Yeah. It became one of my favorite books, and that's why I'm reviewing it. Cool. What genre do you think this book fits into? Um, comedy, adventure, and science fiction. Okay. Because science fiction, because of, like, the space and things like that, white dwarfs, those are actually real. So that's kind of science fiction. Comedy, it's just really hilarious, and adventure, because, like, the race, you know? Yeah. Which is actually the same genre as that last week's Silent Gabby Break the Universe fit into. Yeah. yeah. So this seems like a type of book that you would be really into, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, were there any monkeys in this book? Next question. I always have to ask, you know. You're going to keep asking that? I am. Uh, what, were, what age groups do you recommend this book for? Um, I would recommend this book for ages seven through 11. Okay, any because particular like, reason why? Because at like a young age, you will still find it really funny even if you don't understand like all the scientific stuff. And at like ages 11, you would like think it's like still pretty funny and you would understand the science stuff a little bit more so you would understand like, like whoa, the earth is gonna be shrunken. Okay. Do you think grown-ups would like this book? Maybe. Okay. Why maybe? Because, like, if they're into that, like, kind of, like, comedic, like, real-life kind of-ish thing. Okay. All right. Uh, last but not least, we're all sitting here waiting for the Wilson's rating. rating. What rating are you going to give it this week? I'm going to give it... Five out of five spectacles. All right. Five out of five again. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, all right. Sputnik's Guide to Life on Earth. Yeah. By? By um, Frank Cottrell Boyce. He has written other books besides this one, so definitely check that out at the library. Okay. And five out of five spectacles. Yeah. Anything else for our viewers this week? Um, don't forget to like and subscribe this, to this video okay. and to hit that little bell for notifications. All right. And subscribing is Good. only free. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody.